your farts. <laughs> what did that sound like about that thing? Hey designers and welcome back. Today we're gonna be testing out some of the Valentine candy from the Dollar Tree and let you know if it's good enough to give to that special Valentine. So stick around. about this one you excited about this one wow. we are still can you tell away for the weekend and i thought what better way to celebrate a romantic weekend away than with valentine candy cool chocolate and valentine so we picked up 10 different chocolates are they all chocolate uh, yes. I think they are all chocolate. He picked them out for us, so we got, or he picked out most of them, so I think we got all chocolates from the Dollar Tree, and we're going to taste them and let you know, because you aren't a real big fan of the chocolate that usually is at Dollar Tree. No. <laughs> at Christmas, whenever they have all the chocolate roll out for stockings and stuff, he prefers to stay away from whatever brand they sell. What, what brand is it? Do you even know? Usually Palmer. Usually it's like the Palmer brand, so he'd rather stay away. And I think some of these, I see a Palmer over here. Palmer. You got a Palmer there? But then a lot of these are not either. So we're going to taste these and let you know if they're good enough to give to your Valentine. So what we taste them first? Elmer chocolate. Elmer? All right, this is the little hearts. Now these, they had like all different designs in the front, right? Right. Yeah, you can get all kind of different designs. So it's Elmer chocolate. So let's dig in and taste them. Show them how, how many are in there. Can we show them without them falling out? You've got five pieces of chocolate in there. That's not too bad for a dollar. So each with a different flavor. Oh no. Different flavor. All right, so <laughs> whoops, one bit the dust. All right, tell them what's, what all's in there. Caramel, strawberry cream, orange cream, cocoa truffle, and chocolate caramel. And those are kind of the ones that have been in the hearts for years, ever since we were, in kid, were kids. Yep. The hearts you get wherever. You buy candy, CVS, Walmart, and all that. Okay, so let's taste them. The strawberry cream is the one that bit the dust, but we can tell you if the rest of them are pretty good. So let's, what are we going to start with? Caramel. All right, let's start with the caramel. I'm going to take a bite. You take a bite? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't like it? No. I like it, but that caramel doesn't really taste like caramel. It's cheap. It almost has an orangey flavor. Okay, so you didn't like the caramel one. No. I'm going to taste at least one more. Was there one that was coconut? No. Well, what's this dark chocolate one? And that's the cocoa truffle. That looks like a darker chocolate. Let me just take one bite. Okay, so what was this one? It's chocolate caramel. Oh, chocolate caramel. I don't think you guys are going to actually be able to see the inside, but this one's actually not bad. All right, so you, you taste that one because that one's not too bad. About the same. You still don't like it? No. I like that one a little bit better than the first one, so yes or no on this chocolate heart? No. Okay, he's saying no, and I'm saying, eh, not the worst chocolate I've ever had, but definitely not the best, so let's try something else. What else we got up here? Peanut Caramel Crisp Clusters. All right, and who, who makes this one? Barton's. This is from Barton's. I'm excited to try these because I like the normal peanut truffle um, clusters that you get, kind of like the turtles. These look like a turtle. See that? So let's just have a taste. I'm guessing that's a little peanut hanging off the side. Mmm. That's good. No. Nope. You still don't like it? No. Nope. Okay, he doesn't like that one, but I really like that one. If you like, it doesn't taste as good as a turtle nothing probably tastes that good but that one's pretty good i would give that one a thumbs up 
All right, so from the same brand, the Bartons, what we got? Sea salt caramels. Sea salt caramel. All right, so let's try this one. I do like those peanut. Ooh, I like this one because look at there. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see that, but you can actually see the salt chunks on the top. So let's see. Mmm, you can taste the salt right away, so you might not like that. Mm, I'm not liking this one at all. No. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Show them that box again. That's a bad one. Mm -mm. First of all, the salt is very salty, which I love salt, but the flavor of that caramel is not blending with that salt. Because we both usually love the sea salt and caramel. Mm -hmm. We both love it. Especially the Ghirardelli one, but this one, mm-mm. Nope. No, no, no. All right, so what are we going to do next? I got to wash my mouth out after that one. Palmer's Peanut Butter Hearts. All right, so the Palmer's Peanut Butter Hearts. Here, you go first this time. So what you think about that one? That's actually pretty good. I'm impressed. Mmm, that one is good. So this one was what? The Show Palmer's them the bag again. Peanut butter filled hearts. Yeah, that's good. If you like peanut butter, it almost tastes a little bit like the Reese's eggs you get at Easter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one is good. So what we try next? The Palmer's fudge filled hearts. All right. Not so so. This tastes like typical Palmer's chocolate. This tastes like the chocolate that you get to put in the in the Christmas stockings that are like the little round balls that have like the Santa paper on it. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe that. Typical Palmer's chocolate. Not my favorite on that one. That could go either way for me, but you're giving it a thumbs up? Um, so-so. Kind of so-so on that one too. All right, so what we got next? Here's one. These are premium truffles. We don't know who makes these. It's got the big S on the box there. Sherwood. Sherwood. I guess that's what the S is for. All right, so let's check this one out. I like this one. I really like it. This chocolate almost has a hint of hazelnut, but you don't really like hazelnut, do you? It's okay. You like it like a Nutella. Right. Yeah. That almost has, a, it's not supposed to have a hazelnut, but it has like a slight hint of a hazelnut. So I actually like it, but that's very rich. It's rich. Like some chocolate when you eat it doesn't taste overly sweet, but that one is. Yeah. That one's really sweet. All right, so what's next? Russell Stover Caramel Heart. All right, Russell Stover. Probably can't go wrong with this. I like Russell Stover's. Do you? There it says that. That's a big old heart right there. If you like caramel, you're gonna like this one. That's pretty good. Mm hmm That one's good. I didn't figure you probably would go wrong with Russell Stover, but that one that one's good. I like that one. Alright, so what we got next? The Palmer Chocolate Bear. Alright, and this is supposed to be white chocolate because you love white chocolate. Mm -hmm. So let's see if it lives up to its claim. Oh boy, that sounded hard. That's uh, solid. That's a solid little bear. I do not like it. I like white chocolate, but I'm not a huge white chocolate fan, and that one's not impressing me. What about you? Because you love white chocolate. It's actually pretty good for a dollar. You think so? Yeah. All right, so as a white chocolate connoisseur, he thinks it's okay for a dollar. I think it's ugh. 
All right, so what we got next? Zachary Cordial, cordial Cherries. All right, now it's going to be hard to beat. You guys know already, if you watch Vlogmas, our favorite cherries are the Cellas because they have the clear centers. I do like the cream-filled centers, but never had the Zachary brand, so let's see. This might be hard to beat the Cordial Cherries. Mm mmm. It's okay, but. Mm mm. That tastes just like medicine you get when you're a kid that tastes like cherries. I was thinking chocolate covered medicine. <laughs> chocolate, chocolate covered medicine. That's a good way to say it. So if you like if you like the cherry medicine, you'll like it with chocolate on it. Uh uh. I mean, but it's not bad, but it's yeah. For me, that's gross. That tastes just like medicine. Okay, water break. All right, I'm kind of surprised you like those. They're okay, but I wouldn't buy them again. Yeah, so in other words, they're not good. All right, so what else we got? Cello. <laughs> we saved the best Cheers. for last. I can already tell you these are delicious. One for you, one for me. That's exactly right. We're going to eat the whole thing, not just a bite of these. If you guys have never had Cello's cherries, oh my, you are missing out. Mmm. Did you hear me slurp that out? He doesn't do it because he eats the whole thing, but if you bite the top off, you can slurp that juice out. Mmm. Dynamic. Back bar is the best. Sweet. Mmm. No pun intended. Literally. All right, so let's go ahead and recap for everybody. Let's recap the fails first. Okay. Uh-uh. Mm. Those were gross. Terrible. Chocolate-covered medicine, remember. Mm. All right, so what was the next fail? The Palmer's Fudge Filled Hearts. Yeah, not good. Terrible. Yeah, didn't like those. And? The <coughs> Barton's Sea Salt Caramels. Those were nasty. Yeah, terrible. Those were bad. Do not get those. Yuck. All right, so let's do the So-So's, the ones that are meh. The Elmer Heart. Yeah, that one's not bad. I mean, if you only got a buck and you want to buy something, then that one's, uh, that one's okay. What's another win? The Palmer's White Chocolate. That's a win for you, yes. but that's a lose for me. If you're not real keen on white chocolate, then you're not gonna like that one. If you're a white chocolate connoisseur, then that'll probably be okay for you because it's kind of like a lower end white chocolate. For a dollar. Okay. And that's the Sherwood Truffles. Yeah, these are good, but they're very rich, and they have just a hint of a hazelnut flavor, so pretty good. All right, so let's go over the wins. Both of us actually like these. These were the peanut butter filled ones. These are the Palmer ones, but these were, those were good. Yep. Both of us did enjoy these. This was the Russell Stover Caramel Heart, big ol' heart for a dollar. All right, and this is one that I liked that you didn't care for. No. no, he didn't care for this one, but I like this one. So if you like the peanut clusters, then I think you'll probably enjoy that one pretty good. And then, of course, hands down, the winner. Two thumbs up. <laughs> That's right. These are the best. The best for sure. So anyway, that was pretty fun. Cool. We might feel a little sick. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know <laughs> we've been on this Daniel fast. We broke the fast this weekend, just for the weekend, but we'll get right back on it on Tuesday. And after tasting all that, I'm ready to get back on it, aren't you? Because oh now I got like sugar overload. <laughs> but anyway, that was pretty fun. So I hope that helps you out. Let's you know a little bit on which of those candies to get that are good and which are not. So go get these. Everybody go get these. And the Russell Stover Heart. Two, I think those were the two best. Yes, out of all of it. So anyway, thank you very much for joining us. And I hope that all of you have a very happy Valentine's Day coming up. Yes. Even if you don't have a special someone, you can still enjoy some chocolate. Buy for yourself. That's right. Buy for yourself. So anyway, thank you very much for joining us. Remember, you were created for purpose. So go and be all you can be. We'll see you soon in the next video.